Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Battlefield 1. Last time we finished up the Through Mud and Blood campaign, all four missions, and today we're going to be getting started in the next war story. Friends in high places, battle for air supremacy as a volunteer pilot in the British Royal Flying Corps. Before I got to Europe, I'd never seen an aeroplane in real life. High above, they twisted and turned like flocks of birds dancing. There was a romance surrounding pilots, these new swashbucklers of the skies. But the reality was, most of these brave young men would eventually end up back on the ground in twisted smoking wrecks. So there's a little bit of uh, introduction from our character there. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and jump into it with uh, the first mission here, Test Flight. Um, I should mention now, by the way, just uh, so everyone is aware that is watching this, um, or is bothering to watch this, or is watching this as they're being uploaded. Um, the week of Thanksgiving, the weekend before, uh, the week of, and the weekend after Thanksgiving will not have any of the regular videos because I will be visiting my parents. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to get Star Wars Battlefront 2 when it comes out Friday and I'm very, very excited. Uh, and I'm going to be playing through the campaign, all of that, I'm going to record all of that on Friday. Just binge record the whole campaign and then upload that periodically throughout the week so that there's still some videos to watch. Um, but there will be a break between uh, a break in the Battlefield One and the Warship Gunner Two Portable stuff. But anyways, that's just a quick announcement there. Let's get started with this war story. I have nothing left to bet, you idiot. The plane. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> oh, why the hell not? I've got you beaten anyway. Uh, yeah. What have you got? Hmm? <laughs> Wipe your mouth, Blackburn. That wasn't supposed to happen. But you know, I'll be taking that plane anyway. What the bloody hell? You lost, I beat you. Mm. The thing is, Rackham, it's a very beautiful aeroplane and you're kind of a jackass. I beat you fair and square, goddammit. Stay the hell away from my kind. Oh, you bastard. You can't do this to me. I beat you. I beat you. My name's Clyde Blackburn. I'm a pilot and a gambler. I'm George Rackham. I'm George Bloody Rock and listen to me! You bastard! Keep off my aeroplane! If you asked me to name my biggest fault, I'd have to tell you. I'm just not a very honest person. Welcome aboard! I'm Wilson, by the way. You must be George Rackham! Sure, I'm Rackham. I'm your guy. Get this kite up in the air. You're George Rackham, son of the fourth Earl of Windsor. That's right. Hip, hip, go, babe. The Bristol was everything it was advertised to be a pure joy to fly. It was a crisp, sunny day, and everything would have been perfect had I only been alone. Here we go. Don't you think? Right, you see that plane up ahead. You need to catch up with it. Yeah. 
I don't see any way to make the rudder move at all, which is weird. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so it's very arcadey uh, in the campaign. In the multiplayer, it's much more controllable. Like I can control the uh, I can control the rudder and the roll and uh, all of that stuff. Like right now, I could be rolling, but if I try to do that right now, I just I just turn left. So. sure why I can't be a little more advanced with the controls in the campaign. Hang on, but maybe I'll look through the settings here in a minute. Maybe I missed something the last time I played through this. Pursue allied aircraft. Can do. Come here, you. Is it not this allied aircraft? Am I supposed to just be following this guy? Oh yeah, I'm doing it. Here we go. <laughs> Wingnut. Uh, this is one of the... Uh, this is one of the campaigns that generally has shorter missions, I think, unless it's just my imagination. But Blackburn's pretty funny. Whoopsies. I keep trying to use the rudder. There you go. See, I wish I could roll or something. I can't. Hang on. There's no. There's got to be something. I, hang on. Controls. Yeah, I didn't see an option. Uh, I probably will cut it out just so people don't have to sit through that. But I didn't see an option for enabling any of that stuff in the campaign. So I don't know. Oh, oh! There's a crash plane right there. And magic rockets that I'm pretty sure we didn't have before. But maybe they were there and I just didn't see them, I don't know. Uh, couldn't tell, oh yeah, see that was all, all the way up on top of the mountain, which is why I couldn't really see it all that well. Ooh, nice. That was a lot of good hits there. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you are. Also, magically reloading rockets, because that's also a thing that totally existed in World War One, right? Right. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll just we'll just take it up to video game logic. It's fine. They never claimed this would be a simulator or anything. It definitely isn't. That's fine. Totally fine. Get over the lighting in this game. The lighting is the most is the most amazing part of the graphics in this game for me. The lighting is so good. Yep. All right, Wilson, I'm gonna need you to do some work here. There we go. Uh, is that another one? It sure is. Whoop. Where are you? Oh, 
Whoa! Watch out. Okay, he ran into us a little bit, but we're okay. Oh boy. So just like in the tank, hold down on the D-pad to repair. And there we go. I don't see them. Where are they? Tell me. Oh, there they are. Can I get, like, uh, oh, I can do this. Because I'm holding up on the D-pad right now, which is not the most ideal control, but it'll, it'll do. Hit. Come back here, you. So I wonder what our ally is doing in the middle of all this. Oh boy, he just hit us again. Where is, oh, there he is. There we go, got him. Where'd you go? Nice. All right, let's go ahead and repair real quick. Also in multiplayer, you cannot move your Playing or maneuver while you are uh, while you are repairing, so don't expect to go into the multiplayer and, and do that. Again, they they really dumbed down the campaign version of uh, of the planes here. Oh oh, I can actually hit them from here apparently, but I don't think I'm actually supposed to shoot them down. I'm just supposed to follow. accidentally discovered where Germans were keeping their munitions for half the Western Front. And Wilson's pictures would help HQ launch a major assault. There was just one problem. I'm not sure about this. Oh, come on. We did a great thing. We'll get medals for this. We weren't even supposed to be there. When the commander sees these pictures, he won't care. We did a great thing. We can do it again. I'll make you a deal. If we pile up on this, then you need to promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Sure thing. Promise. I need your word. Okay, I promise. Stay here. And don't cause any trouble. You know, I did like the guy. But he was kind of naive. Sir, you might want to take a look at these. Saints alive, your man must be one, one hell of a plan. Before we knew it, we were back in the air. Our mission? To clear the way for the bombers so they could blow that fortress all to hell. First, we'd have to down the barrage blimps. Jesus, imagine being a lookout on a blimp. Bad luck, Fritz. Next, we'd have to deal with their anti-aircraft trucks. The assault was already in full swing when we got there. We'd have to deal with all those defenses, then escort our bombers to their target when they arrived. Tall order. But victory here could change the course of the whole damn war, they said. Alright, we're gonna pause it right there. Um, there wasn't so much of a clean cut in, in the cutscene that time like there, like there was uh, during the Through Mud and Blood campaign. So we'll, we'll stop it right there, and I'll pick you guys up right here in the next episode of Battlefield 1. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.